Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing a fall inspired look and also um, it's kind of inspired by Vanessa Hudgens on So You Think You Can Dance. I was actually just watching it and she had a really pretty um, gold eyeshadow on and kind of warm browns in the crease and I thought that was really really pretty. So I'm going to be trying to recreate that and also just doing a basic um, fall inspired look. So if you want to see how that looks just keep on watching. So I'm going to start off with the MAC Oil Control Lotion. I've been really oily lately. So I'm just going to put that in the center of my face. And I'm just going to go in with the Benefit Professional. Yeah. Alright, and before I give this a no-go because of how much it oxidizes, I'm going to try this out one more time. It's the Smashbox Studio Skin Shaping Foundation. So it's a foundation on one side and then a contour stick on the other. And my regular um, studio skin is in the same shade, but it doesn't oxidize as much as this. So I'm going to test this out today, and if it oxidizes really bad, I'm just going to go get um, a lighter color because I really like the foundation. It's actually one of my favorites. <clears throat> Alright, so that is what it looks like right now. Hopefully it won't turn crazy orange and just don't mind my <clears throat> my pimples. I'm having really awful breakouts. That's why I haven't been filming lately because my face has been just like going crazy with cystic acne. So I took a little break. So um, I probably won't be filming this weekend either just to kind of give myself a break. But I just want to put a video up for you guys just so you know I didn't completely disappear. <laughs> Um, okay, so now I'm going to go in with my Laura Mercier Loose Setting Powder. So most of the time in the fall, I like to um, go a lot extra matte than I do in the summer. Most of the time I'm... I like matte foundations just because my skin gets so oily that by the end of the day it kind of <laughs> looks dewy but um, in the winter I like like even more matte than normal so um, I like to set my whole face and only put highlight on um, the tips the tips the high points of my cheek and just kind of leave it at that because I don't really like um, dewy skin as much in the fall and winter as I do in the summer so for contour and everything, I'm going to go in with the Urban Decay Naked Skin Shape Shifter Palette. And I'm just going to be using um, kind of a fluffy, like a little bit of a fluffy contour brush. And I just went in with the, um, with the contour shade. And then I'll warm up my skin with the bronzing shade. And I'm going to go in really light with the bronzing shade and my big powder brush from Zoeva and just warm up my face. Now I am going to go into the Becca Sun Chaser palette and I'm going to go in with Opal as my highlighter. And I'm going to be using kind of an angled um, Luxie 504 brush. And then I am going to also go into the Becca Sun Chaser palette and go into the blush. And this is Apricot Blossom. And 
Vanessa Hudgens had um, definitely um, a more pinky peach blush, but I don't really like a lot of blush, so I'm just going to go with this one. And I'm going to go do my eyebrows off camera with my Anastasia brow definer, and then I'll be right back. Alright, so my brows are done, so we are going to move on to the eyes. Um, I am going to... I'm going to be using kind of a mix of these two. So this is the ColourPop, what's this called? The Yes Please palette. And I'm going to be going into these three colors, maybe this one too. And then I'm also going to be going into the Makeup Geek Manny MUA palette. And just kind of go into the transition shades right here. And that is what we are going to start with. So I'm going to take this shade right here, it's called Sora, and just blend that into my crease. Alright, and then I'm going to go into this color, it's called, um, so that one is called Frappe. It's a little bit cooler than the one we just used. Alright, so I'm done with the Makeup Geek palette. Now we're going to go into the Yes Please ColourPop palette. And I'm going to start building up the outer crease. So I'm going to start going in with this one. It's called Note to Self. Alright, and then I'm going to darken up the crease with this color right here. It's called French Kiss. So the outer crease and the matte shades and the browns are just about where I want them to be. So I'm going to go in with my finger with this gold shade called Chauffeur and I am just going to pack that on the lid. Alright, and I'm going to now take a brush with that gold shade and just carry it on into the inner corner. And then I'm going to go in with this lighter brown in um, Note to Self and just blend out all the edges. <laughs> Alright, and now to finish off the look, I'm going to go on, um, I'm going to go and throw on some liner and probably just mascara and I'll be right back. Alright, so I just went in with the NYX Matte Liquid Liner. This is actually one of my favorites because it doesn't dry shiny or anything and it's um, a brush tip. It's really tiny so you can get a really nice precise line. And then I went in with my Estee Lauder Sumptuous Extreme and this is just a regular fiber brush instead of the plastic ones and it's a pretty big brush but I can um, work with it pretty well and not get any transfer on the bottom lid or on the upper so 
that is how my eyes turned out and I actually really like it. So I will post a picture um, around the beginning of how Vanessa Hudgens' eye look looked and then you can see mine right now. Um, I don't think it's super similar but I just wanted to do something really warm and gold and I think it turned out really pretty. So I'm going to finish off my look with lips. This is the Rimmel the only one lipstick and it's in 700 Naughty Nude and this stuff smells so good it smells like um like watermelon like Jolly Ranchers it's amazing and this stuff um it's not a matte lipstick but it does stay on for a very long time and it almost like gives your lips kind of a stain underneath so when the glossy finish kind of wears off like the creamy finish it'll still look really pretty and I am going to add a little more gloss and go in with the Bare Minerals gloss I don't think it's any special name um, and it's called must have and um, speaking of smells the I don't know what Bare Minerals did but the Bare Minerals um, liquid lipstick and the glosses they smell awful they're so they're so horrible like I don't even know how to explain it but they just don't smell good but they're just they're like one of my favorite glosses so I just kind of have to get over it but um we are going to set my face with the Urban Decay All Nighter makeup setting spray and then we will be all done Alright, so that is the finished look, um, kind of fall inspired and also by Vanessa Hudgens um, with her really pretty look that I showed you guys at the beginning. So if you like this look and you like these kind of videos, just give this a big thumbs up and hit the little red subscribe button down below and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!